to us an interview. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What? I just want to ask you some questions. Okay. So basically, um, what's your name? My name's Dave. Okay, Dave. And what brings you here today? I'm standing up for freedom. Freedom. Okay. And what does that freedom look like to you? Keep Britain, Britain British. British. Yeah, yeah. It's becoming very Islamic, this country. I think it is, yeah. 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 Um, and how do you feel about that? Oh, I'm, I'm fuming inside. I'm burning. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would like a change. It's not It's not good. I, it, what's happening in this country is really bad. Definitely. And we have a, a, a very uh, bad government. The, gov the uh, government leader is an atheist. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, what about you? What's your religion? What's your faith? I haven't got a religion. Okay, but do you believe in God? No. No, so you're an atheist? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... I, I believe, well, I believe God is whatever brought us here to begin with. So you believe that there's something? There's so, a higher power, So yeah. rather than atheist, it's more agnostic? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. And um, have you, did you grow up in religious home, religious background, no. religious school, nothing? No, nothing. Okay, so, um, and is it, have, you, have you ever found yourself wanting to know more about who God is? Truthfully? Not really. Okay, no. all right, well. I'm not interested in that, I just, well. I believe, like I said, that whatever and God is brought us here to begin with. All right. All right. Okay, well, that's cause, probably because you're filming him as well. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, well, I mean, God is very real. Yeah. Okay. And um, the Bible says that God is, you know, that the wrath of God abides on us. Okay. All right. We've, all right. And, and the, I know, God is very angry with the wicked. And the reason why is because of our sin. Yep. So I don't know about you. I don't know anything about you. I don't know anything about I your life. That. And but every human being, and I speak in a generalised way, and I include myself in this, yep. has sinned against God. We've mm -hmm. broken His laws. We've all, you know, God gave us a moral law. We know morally it's wrong to lie. We know it's wrong to steal. And and we know in our heart that there is a God. There's a Creator. But in our flesh. Like you said, it's never really crossed your mind to want to get to know him. And so we're separated from him. Yeah. All right. But, you know, and so God, he created the universe. He gives us the food to eat. He gives us our provisions. We have air in our lungs because of him. Okay. And, and yet he doesn't receive any gratitude for it. He gave us a law, a moral law, a good law. We right. break that law. Okay. And one day when we die, regardless of whether we believe in him or not, we're going to stand before him. Okay. And we're going to have to face his judgment. True. Right. And every single human is guilty. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're, we're damned. We've got Why? no hope. Because we've we all, guilty? Well, we've all sinned against him. We've I all haven't. broken his law. So you told lies? I haven't. Well, everybody's lied. Everybody told lies. Okay, everybody's and so, okay. And have you ever hated in your heart anybody? I know I have. Yeah. So that Jesus said that's the same as murder. You ever looked at a woman with lust? Yeah. That's adultery. Do you see why we're guilty? I do, yeah. Okay, well, this is the thing, but there's good news. Let me tell you the good news. So okay. this is the bad news, all right? All right. So religion, first of all, is not of God. Roman mm -hmm. Catholicism, Islam, Mormons, Jehovah Witness, they're like cults. They say, come and join our church, and they try to put people under their control. They want to control you. Okay. And they say, you've got to be a good person, you've got to go to church every day, you've got to do all this work. If you do that, then maybe God will let you in. So you have a bunch of hypocrites so going... You, okay, so if you've got God in your heart, right, and you believe in him, why do you need to go to a church? You don't. You don't. You don't. That's what that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So you don't have to go to a church. We go, when I go to church, yeah, I go to have fellowship. I go to worship God. I'm not going there because I want to be made good with God. Okay. Do you see the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do it because I want to. And I want to so I want to fellowship with my brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay. And I want to have worship God in an environment with other believers. All right? But religion, like Catholicism, for example, says you've got to go to church. If you don't go to church, you're going to go to hell. Do you see what I'm saying? So they are putting you under bondage. They're yeah. making you a slave to them, and at the same time, you're a slave to your sin. Okay. All right? But what God wants, the creator of the universe, he wants relationship. But yeah. sin separates us. So Jesus came 2,000 years ago. In the per he came in the flesh, and he did come. You know, it's, it's a very known fact. Like, Jesus is one of the most...
historical figures that is uh, known to have lived 2,000 years ago. There's no. There's, well, I pray you do your homework. All right. All right. Okay. I pray you do your homework. We have Bible prophecy that Jesus fulfilled that from thousands of years before Jesus came into creation. Okay. Nothing's going to convince me otherwise. All right. Well, I pray. Well, okay. Well, this is the thing. Don't harden your heart. All right. Just hear what I have to say. Okay. So we have Bible prophecy from thousands of years where it was prophesied that the seed of the woman, we know Jesus was born from a virgin, yep. would come and crush the serpent's head. Okay. We have Bible prophecy to say that he was going to suffer and die, that his name was going to be um, the Son of God, that he would be Almighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. And we have eyewitness accounts that saw him after he was crucified. They saw him be crucified, they saw him rise from the dead, they ate and drank with him afterwards and they saw him ascend into heaven. Okay. And he says that in the last days, in the same way he went up, okay. that he would come back. And he said right before he comes back, you see what's happening here today? Yep. There would be an apostate. And so what we're seeing with the increase in um, Islam growing like a big, uh, like Melju, yep. that's Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Okay, can I just say that sections of the Bible have been removed? No, okay. see, that's yep. the thing. Enoch. No. So, but what Enoch right. doesn't belong Speaks in about that. the giants? Well, no, but... It's all been shut up. No, but that's the thing. It's not been shut up because we have access to it. Okay. But we have access to those books. Where is it? But we... There's, see, the thing is, with, with God's Word, with the Bible, it's in error. Yeah, there's no error. Okay. With the books like Enoch and the other apocrypha books, there's error in there. So that's why they're not in the canon. So God has chose the 66 okay. books that we have. I believe in the Great Flood. I believe that happened. Okay. okay, that's good, okay. that's good. Right. So why don't you believe Jesus come in the flesh then? And to, was able to suffer and die for your sin and raise again on the third day? Because there's only certain parts of the Bible that I do believe in, some that I don't. All right, well, my okay. prayer is for you to change because you do believe some of the Bible. You believe in the great blood. Do right. so you believe in a God of miracles? No, but I believe that, you know, parts of the uh, ark has been found um, up on a mountain. That's because the sea your faith right. in God. Right. I know that, but... I, I just don't. Well, this is the thing. We have eyewitness accounts, okay? We have eyewitnesses that testify to seeing Jesus, that eat okay. and drank with Jesus, that saw him after that being crucified and rise from the dead. And not only did they do that, but also at the same time, these same eyewitnesses, they all suffered and died for their testimony. Okay. One was beheaded, one was crucified upside down, one was poisoned and exiled to an island on Patmos. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord's brother was stoned to death. You've got James who was beheaded. Yep. You know, they're all the apostles suffered and died of their testimony, that God came in human flesh, okay. suffered and died on the cross for their sin, was buried and raised on the third day. So we have a lot of evidence for Jesus, okay. all right? And I can testify, I'm a witness. I had religion for a very long time. And I would go to church, do sacraments and everything else, and I thought that made me a good person. But it wasn't until Jesus brought me to the end of myself and I cried out to him that he saved me. And when he saved me, he literally transformed me from the inside out. I was born again, and I was a new creature. This is what Jesus said, unless I be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And being born again, it's not about like going to church and being baptized and thinking you can wash away your sin and, and that will make you good with God. That's hypocritical. Yeah. Because you can do that, but you're still going to lie. You're still going to do all these other simple behaviors that God hates. So God needs to change your heart. And it's a supernatural work. That's only something that God can do. Have you seen the monster cans? So, uh? Have you seen the monster cans? Okay, this beer, but have you seen the monster cans? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Energy. Yeah, I don't drink, obviously. Oh, I, I no, I know. Neither do I. I don't touch the stuff, right? But there's there's a, a there's a crucifix cross on it, and when the person tips it up to drink it, it comes an upside down cross. It's the beast. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I believe in that. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, that's the thing. So, where do you think that came from? Where do you think that? It's very demonic. You're absolutely right. So, you have an idea. So I believe that's the powers that be. All right. The ones that control us. No, no. But that's the thing. Satan does rule this world. Look at the wickedness in it. He that. does rule it. I yes. Can see that. But you know what? He, he, he wants to blind your eyes because he knows that Jesus can open your eyes. He can deliver you from sin. He can give you eternal life. He can give you love, peace, joy. Kind of, okay. He can give you the Holy Spirit. My final word on this is that there's something. Right? Right. I don't know what it is. Okay? I won't be forced to believe anything. No, no, I'm not going to try okay. to force you. All I'm going to do is encourage you to, to, yep. to look into it. I'll tell you how to receive salvation and then I'll leave it with you. When you come to believe in Jesus Christ, you have to accept one, you're a sinner in need of a saviour. God bless you, sir. Alright, God bless. Thank you. Yeah. When you come to believe in Jesus Christ, 
you believe that Jesus is God, you believe that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day, when you put your faith and trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin, he'll save you, give you a new heart and put the Holy Spirit in you. Tried it it's way. about relationship. I've even, I've even prayed and I didn't receive anything. So, well, no, no, you but know. you've got to believe in it. I did. No, but you don't because if you did believe in it, you'd still believe to this day. When you really come to believe in Jesus, you accept that your works can't save you. Being a good person can't save you. And you cry out to Jesus and you say, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. I believe in you. I believe you're God. I believe you died for my sin, was buried and raised on the third day. When the, that comes from there and it, you believe it, really believe, that is salvation for you. Okay, All right? No, no, keep it. Keep it. It's the Gospel of John. I pray you study what we said. All right. Thank you.